to Human Latios I eat. So this is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Grass Jewel 2. So here we are in a little root town, right outside Professor Pine's Pokemon Lab. Now, uh, last time we uh, battled our rival once again, and our father as well. This time, uh, well, we're going to go step inside the lab. Now, once you complete the, uh, the Pokedex... Uh, just like an emerald where you get the Johto starters, you get something a little bit different in this game. So, let's uh, go right in. Oh, Eric, let's look at, have a look at your Pokedex. Yes, there's no doubt about it. You really have completed the Hoenn Region's Pokedex. That's more than just impressive. I have a gift for you. Consider it my show of appreciation for the fantastic work you've done. My gift is a rare Pokemon only found in another region. You can have any of these three Pokemon. Eric, do you um do you prefer collecting Pokemon or slowly steadily uh, slowly and steadily raising the one you choose? Eh, whichever. So here in the original Grass Jewel, once you completed the Pokedex, of course your starters were Raikou, Entei, or Suicune, and once you completed the Pokedex, you were given either a uh, an Articuno, a Zapdos, or a Moltres. Now in Grass Jewel two. Your starters were either Articuno, Zapdos, or Moltres. However, if you complete the Pokedex, you get the electric Pokemon Raikou. The fire Pokemon Entei. Take your time before you decide they're all invaluable. Or, of course, the water Pokemon Suicune. You sure know what you're doing. So you'll take the Suicune. I don't know, I'll take my time before I decide. They're all invaluable Pokemon. So you, so we get to choose any of these from the starters in Grass Jewel, but there's a twist. So you know what? I think I'm actually going to pick Entei. So with that, we receive the Entei from Professor Pine. So let's nickname you. Let's call you... Um, you know what? This Entei, uh, in this game, Entei, I believe, can learn Earthquake. So you know what? I'm going to name you... Mantike? So, it was transferred to the PC. Listen, Eric, you've completed the Hoenn Pokedex, but your Pokemon journey isn't over. There is no end to the road that is Pokemon. Somewhere, there is a grassy patch that's waiting for you. All right. So we received the promise book and better leave the others alone. So with that, there is one little twist, though, however. Now that we have received an Entei... So basically, once you complete the Hoenn Pokedex, you get a Raikou, Entei, or Suicune. But... When you get that in this game, they are guaranteed to be shiny. So in this case... We got a shiny Entei, and it is timid, which is... it's okay. I mean, I guess we'll run a special... Oh, it could be special... Oh, a special attacker. I guess it won't be taking advantage of Sacred Fire, but hey, you know, it's got a Flamethrower. They are level 50. Um, shiny Raikou and sh Shiny Entei, I actually... I, I thought they, like, they looked pretty cool. I, I readed the Shiny Palettes. They actually use Suicune's normal palette. Shiny Suicune just has its its normal pal its normal shiny palette though. But yeah, Shiny Raikou and Shiny Entei are um a little bit different in this game since I did do some sh uh, some custom shinies. So with that we've got and I guess because I called it Mantike, it blue fits. But with that we actually got another Entei. But this one is shiny, of course. So yes, once you complete the Pokedex, you get a Raikou Entei or Suicune free of charge. Uh, from the professor. Whichever you choose, you only get one of them, but it is a guaranteed shiny. That said, let's go to Doofer Town. Alright. Now, if we, if we surf down this way, you might see something a little familiar from Grass Jewel. This is Victory Island. 
Now, what is on Victory Island? Well, if you go over to the right over here, there's some Azuril, because you gotta love Azuril. Now, here, this woman will uh, sell you any doll. I mean, you can buy them at the, the department store as well. Or in, like, Slateport. But, hey, you know, if you want to buy them, she's here, she'll sell you it. This lady, she'll sell you pretty much anything from the uh, rooftop clearance sale at the department store. Once again, uh, the Whalmer and uh, Rhydon doll palettes are glitched in the menu, but if you put them in your secret base or in your bedroom at, in Little Root Town, they will look normal. So don't worry about that. Uh, you can also buy the tents, so you can pretty much have as many of these as you want, even if you don't complete the trick room. Well, the, the, uh, the not trick room, trick house. Trick room's a move. Uh, not in this gen. All right, and of course there's this guy. He is the TM seller. This TM trainer will, uh, as I call him because of the Gen 1 glitch, but regardless, he'll sell you pretty much any TM, just like they will at the, uh, Mart, so at the department store. So yeah, you can buy pretty much any of that stuff here. And, of course, just like in Grass Jewel, there is one final, uh, battle you can do. That, it's a tough one, though. But you know what? I think we're ready for it. I'm just a little concerned how we're going to do this. Alright, there's a Pikachu right here, but of course we have this guy. Made a few words, I see. Let's go. Let's do this. We are challenged by Pokemon Master Red. And of course, as always, Red is leaving off, leading off with the Pikachu. Alright. Now, I'm a little concerned here. I'm going to Pixie Kick. We are going to outspeed. I'm concerned about the static, though. Please do not activate static. Do not activate static. Great. Can we get a flinch, at least? Alright, we got the flinch right here. He's gonna heal. Alright, I'm just gonna let him heal. We're gonna redo that first turn, but you know what? Based on the damage that uh, Pixie Kick did, I think we can go for Unpayday. I think Unpayday will actually do well. So, you know what? Let's just do this. I mean, if it goes for Volt Tackle, perfect. I dare you to Volt Tackle. Okay, Thunder, that's gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt. Um, can we knock a Parag? Or one shotted? Or we're living? And we're gonna. It doesn't even. The coffee isn't gonna matter though because he's either gonna heal his Pikachu or or he's not gonna heal his Pikachu. Either way, we're in good shape. I'm gonna Sacred Fire just because. Not that it really mattered what we did. Alright. So, Pikachu is down. Alright, next up is gonna be Blastoise. Um. You know, I think we're gonna go into Blizzard for this. We can, we can uh, Thunder. Alright. So that means we guaranteed the we're guaranteed to land the thunder, which is nice. He's gonna hydro pump in the rain though, so it's, I think we might be able to take it if he doesn't crit. Actually, I think we could have taken a crit. All right, now let's para. We're outsped by a blast voice. That kind of that's sad. All right, give me the para. Para. We activate the static on the Pikachu, but we can't get a power on the on the Blastoise. All right, you know what? That's okay. This is going to bring us back to full health. We use, so we're going to land another Thunder. Unless he, like, bites or something. <laughs> gets a flinch. All right, he's going to go for another Hydro Pump. That is perfectly fine, because we're, we're going to live the Hydro Pump. We're going to land our Thunder because we're in the rain, and that Blastoise is going to go down. All right, we got this. 
we got this. So hopefully he goes in the Venusaur. Oh no, he's gonna go in the Charizard, which makes sense to go in the Charizard before the Venusaur to get the chlorophyll boost. All right, so do I risk it? You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna yolo it here. I'm just gonna yolo it. He's going in the Charizard, it's gonna bring out the sun, so the problem is we need to take a fire blast and not get burned. We need to live this fire blast and not get burned. I think we can do it. I don't think we can do it. We can't do it. That sucks. Alright, you know what? Um... <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Jump Bluff can handle a Charizard. Alright. Alright, let's, let's Air Slash. We're just gonna have to keep flinching this thing down. We're gonna have to flinch this thing down. Alright, there's one flinch. I mean, if he uses up all of his, uh, heals on this thing, I'll be okay. You know what? I think we're in range that Unpaid A kills. More accurate, at least. Okay, so that is gonna take down the Charizard. Alright, next up is Venusaur. That's a problem. That is definitely a problem. Because that means we're facing a very uh, chlorophyll boosted Venusaur. Okay, might as well go chlorophyll versus chlorophyll. Alright, let's put this in the sleep first and foremost. Now, the only silver lining mean, um, is that. That means he's gonna use Lapras in the sun. Which could work to our advantage. Alright. Can't we can't leech seed this thing, but fortunately that means we do have super effective stab with air slash. Alright, can we flinch? Actually we won't have to flinch because you are still asleep. Alright, he is probably going to wake up next turn, my luck. If not, he's gonna heal up anyway. So I just have to spam Air Slash until this thing actually does wake up, unless we crit. Alright. It's still asleep. Alright, you know what? I think I Air Slash here while he heals. Because he is going to heal. This way I get some damage off, assuming I don't miss. And then I go for, uh, for Sleep Powder next turn, because I really don't feel like taking a uh, Sludge Bomb to the face. Unless this thing has a Fire move. Once again, I made this game so long ago I can barely remember the movesets that the uh, NPCs have. Alright, so let's Sleep Powder. Alright. So this thing is going to stay asleep. He's probably going to heal up after we go for another Air Slash. But that's just the game. We're living on a sliver. Alright, he's probably gonna heal up again. But you know what? I'm okay with him using up all of his full restores on Venusaur, to be honest. In fact, I am more than happy for him to do that, because that makes my life easier. The more he does on Venusaur, the less he does on, uh, I believe, Lapras and Snorlax. And Snorlax could be a problem. Although then again, we do have, um, we do have Luke. And of course we missed. Alright, so... Put this in the sleep. Alright, the nice thing about Air Slash is if, even if it does wake up, we do have that small chance of flinching it. And, of course, the thing is, I don't know if we can take a Sludge Bomb. 
So while we have taken zero damage from this Venusaur thus far, uh, I'm pretty sure that could go from zero to 100 really quickly. Okay, come on, don't wake up. Thank you, all right. So the question is, is he going to heal or is he just gonna let the Venusaur go down at this point? Because I think he's three full restores, which means he has one more. So at this point, we're gonna miss. It's probably gonna wake up. It's not waking up. All right, that is actually perfect for us. Now the question is, do I actually just go for the Giga Drain just for the guarantee, just for the, um, for the accuracy, even though it's quad resisted? I'm just gonna go for the Air Slash. We're not missing again. All right. So that is gonna take down the Venusaur. So next up is gonna be Lapras. The problem is, Blizzard is a guaranteed Oko. No, no, Luke. It probably could have actually just gone into Tails for this, to be honest. But that's fine. We can do this this way, I think. I'm thinking I go for a Meteor Mash, because we can easily take a hit from this thing. I want a Meteor Mash. If we can get the plus one, then I go for Cross Shop to get the KO. Can we get the plus one here? And then we... Alright, we got the sweep happening. As long as I think doesn't Blizzard and, uh, and Freeze. Alright, Hydro Pump it in the sun. Yeah, that's not doing anything to us. That is, that is nice. That is, that is nice and easy. We got this. No problem whatsoever. Cross Chop on the Lapras. Cross Chop on the Snorlax at plus one. We got the sweep happening. That is game. That is, that is going to secure our victory here. Snorlax? Ha <laughs> very funny. Plus one stab cross chop from a Lucario. <laughs> that is game, Red. That is game. Honestly, I think the hardest thing on his team is the Charizard, unless you don't have uh, some kind of a counter for the Venusaur. Although then again, I think Lucario probably could, uh, could probably take care of it, to be totally honest. Especially if you have like a psych if you have psychic wound or something like that. Um, but the only the only twist on the, the Venusaur is the chlorophyll. Other than that, the Charizard and the Blastoise set up the weather. But with that, we have defeated Pokemon Master Red. And we got fifty thousand bucks for winning. Yeah, a man of so many words. Alright. And of course, that's gonna put us back in the Hall of Fame. Alright. So... Yep! That is, uh... That is how to beat Red. Really, all you need is a Lucario. And Togekiss works pretty well. So I, I actually really like our team. Uh, you know, Jumps did really well for that Venusaur. I mean, Tails didn't do all that much here, but, you know, it's a team effort. Definitely a team effort. So, I guess that makes us a Pokemon Master as well. So... Here we go again with the uh, the credits. <laughs> so um, on that note, uh, there is one more thing that I think we can do in this game that I think will be a little bit of fun. Really not all that different from what we've already done. But, you know, I've had so much fun so far. Let's not just end things off uh, on this note. So, I guess the last thing for us to do is, I guess we're gonna battle the, uh, we're gonna battle the Pokemon League one more time. So, I can't believe we made it this far into the game at this point. I mean, we've been, this journey has been going on for so long at this point. It's, it's kind of amazing that we got this far, but, you know, still have that one last uh, hurdle to, to overcome, I suppose. I, I really like the way that we've uh, put together this team, and I think it's 
it's definitely, definitely been doing well for this game. I know there are a lot of, like, weather teams, uh, to... A lot of weather wars for us in this game. But I think this team does pretty well with it, because we got... We got our own version of the Mini Sun team, because we got the, uh, the drought plus the, uh, chlorophyll on our team. We got the Inner Focus from Lucario. We got the Serene Grace and Speed of, uh, Tokikus. We've got our starter, who's a Legendary. Uh... Honestly, I, I, and we've got the, the huge power from our, uh, our, our Dawn fan. So yeah, we've got, we got a pretty balanced team, I think. Once again, I think this might have actually been the, uh, one of the very, very few times I've ever not used a water type in a team. <laughs> but we do have the water coverage, because we do have Surf on Lucario. Alright, and of course our starter was Articuno. So... With that, we have defeated Red. We got a uh, shiny uh, Entei. Once again, if you got a Raikou or a Suicune instead, they would also be shiny. So, we've done a lot of stuff in this journey so far. It's actually kind of amazing. But, like, like I said, I think we got one more little challenge for us to do. So... I guess we're going to go do that next time. So thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time when we once again take on the Pokemon League. For the finale of Let's Play Pokemon Grass Jewel 2. See you then. So thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for the finale. Goodbye.